Hi friends, in this video we will see how to create uh, devices and databases in the Sybase. In Sybase, devices are the portion of a disk uh, which are used to store uh, databases and its objects. First, uh, we will see how to create device and then on top of it, uh, we will create database. We will be creating uh, two devices. So, uh, we are creating two devices because uh, of a database to store the data segment and log segment. We are creating separate devices. Uh, no doubt we can create both uh, data segment and launch segment on the same device. So here are three cases we will be discussing in our video. First we will be creating two devices and their databases and its uh, launch segments. And then in second case uh, we will be extending uh, if device we have some space on device how to extend the database size uh, using simple alter command we will be discussing that. In final case uh, when a device size fails how to extend the database size. So we will be creating new devices for that. So all these three cases we will be discussing. So first of all, uh, in order to create a device, so we will be using the disk init native easy initialization name. We will give the some name, and then physical name. It is like we have to give the exact entire path of the location of the file where you want to store the device, and uh, what is the size of the device. Either way, it is fine. Two thousand MB file. Apart from uh, these, uh, we have another parameters like direct uh, uh, I/O and uh, desync are the different parameters we can give here. Uh, direct I/O by by default, direct I/O and desync are false. But uh, what does this direct I/O do? By making direct I/O true, uh, we will directly transfer files directly to disk. So we will be bypassing the OS buffers by doing so. It it is a fast access of data will be there. Okay, and the second parameter is desync. See, if we won't specify desync here, by default value takes as a false. Okay, what happens if we enable desync to uh, by if we enable desync to true, we can recover data from the uh, devices on these uh, file systems. So, but in general, we we will uh, will make it false only because uh, if we enable true, it will takes high writes will happen and the performance will drop. So by default uh, value only will go with desync. Generally desync we will enable only for uh, most of the times we enable for uh, replication servers. So these are the cases we will be discussing. So here I want to create a database with a total size of 1.3 GB. But out of this 1.3 GB, I am allocating 1.2 GB for a data segment and another 100 MB to hold log segment. So we already have created a device with a 2 GB of uh, data uh, 2 GB. To hold the data segment and another 200 MB to store log segment, right? So, in our in this case, we will be, we will be creating a, we will be not utilizing entire device, but we will be creating only uh, 1.2 GB of our device uh, to store the database and another 100 MB to store uh, log segment on this particular device. This is a device name, uh, test device dot log. This is already we have created, right? We are creating uh, one disk device with uh, to store uh, data segment. The device name is test device gs device data and another device to create test device log. Okay. Now, uh, in case two, we will extend the database size. Okay, whenever a data gets this 1.2 GB fills, okay, this log segment is not sufficient. Then how to increase this database size? You can use uh, just alter using alter command. On specific database, we still have with 800 MB of space we are left, so we can increase it uh, to 800 MB. Easy. In case three, uh, we, when this device space is filled, we have to create new device, right? So again, we'll be using like similarly. If you want to, our requirement is to increase the uh, increase only data segment. Then I'll create a new device. How much size I want? I will be creating a new device. And if still I want to increase the log, size, log segment space also, then I can create and the new device to create with this log segment. So we will uh, now we will be seeing the uh, and uh, so these are the commands we'll be using how uh, to check uh, database and its corresponding device locations. And uh, using SPL SPL device, we can get the entire device location and its corresponding parameters. So we will we'll, we'll, we'll do the practical implementation. Okay. Now what is uh, okay. okay? My corresponding uh, default location is op app, so I'll go here. Uh, I will see my server is on or not. Okay, so so first I enable the environment variable. Enable 
go to the specific location you have to there actually this side is store so here for my case it is offset so there i go there and i will enable the environment environment uh, environment variables now i will do here. okay now i have to start the cyber server we starting here now i'll run the cyber server Now I'll sell the backup server as well. So no devices are present. So I'll be storing my da Sybase data in this particular uh, directory only. So first I log into server. So these are the databases I have now. So I will be creating new database. First of all, I'll get the queries for it. So we'll also check what are the devices present. Okay, use you should be careful with the names. Use the device e device underscore log the convention. Device name. Not a word you can generally give a different device name. I have to give another device. Okay. SP help device. So these are the two devices I have created like uh, test device data and uh, test device log. So that now I will be. Creating a database named TestDB to hold its data segment on this device and uh, and, uh, and uh, to hold its log onto device this device. Yes, one percent of its complete. Okay, uh, TestDB is created and it's online now. So it took approximately one minute to create the uh, test DB on that on those devices. Now we can check SP help DB. Go. So we can see here that our test new test DB is created with total size of 1.3 GB. You can check here out of 1.3 GB, uh, almost 1.2 GB of uh, it will be holding data segments and only 100 MB it is holding log segment. These are and all these 100 MB is free. You can get all those information here. Now I'll exit from it. So these are the devices we have created, right? So no doubt, actual our original device size is 2 GB, but out of this 2 GB, we are uh, holding only 1.2 GB of data. Okay. We are not utilizing entire device space, so still device has some space. So now I want to extend the uh, now I log into the server. E help device. So you can check here clearly. Our device size is 2 GB. Uh, you can see other parameters like desync is out, direct I is on true. But yes, you can see original device size is 2 GB, but out of this 2 GB, 1.2 GB is allocated for the database still 800 mb of space is still left for uh, on this device similarly on the second device to store log segment originally capacity of 200 mb but we have already allocated 100 mb to store the log segment of a particular database still 100 mb space is left so if i want to increase these uh, my database uh, because my data is increasing so i want to increase the database size and uh, 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 it's whole device still uh, same device it has space so what I will do is just I will alter the segment and I will increase the space so on to test device data it's the name right same database same device so I will increase on to it so this is how I can give 800 MB I have 
Marcus Smith may log on here. See, now I have increased my space. Now we can see my overall DB size is 2 GB with 2.2 uh, GB with 200 MB to hold the log segment and 2, 2 GB to hold data segment. Okay. Now, um, what if in future uh, my database still requires another 3 GB of uh, data segment space? Then again, similar case 3 will be discussing here. Now I will be creating a new device to hold with the size of 3 GB. Here's how I'll be creating test device. A device name is test device two. This is how I'll be increasing the I'll be creating new device here again. Device. See, I have created a new device with 3 GB of space and uh, 3 GB is free. You can see that new device is created, test device 2 and uh, test device log 2. All two, de two devices have been created with the test device with 3 GB and uh, log segment to hold another 300 MB. I have created two separate devices. Now I will be extending the space of test DB further. So using alter command, I am increasing the increasing this my DB space further onto the new device. So you can see here, I have increased my test device to size is three GB, and uh, I have allocated all the space. So space, and now we have it in the new. Now we can check, you can see here, overall our, now we can check here, like our DB size, overall DB size has increased to 5.5 GB. Out of this 5.5 GB, uh, which, what are the devices that are holding, what amount of data, these are the space we can available. So like, uh, this device is holding 1.2 GB, and this device is having, uh, holding 3.3 GB, and uh, these log devices are holding uh, this much of capacity, all these available. Our total log size is like 500 MB. That's what it is in kilobytes. I think it's uh, clear now. We, we have successfully created. Uh, so these are the devices we have created. Okay. Um, I think uh, you're clear with it. If you still have any queries, uh, you can comment. Hope uh, you like this. For any queries, you can comment here. Thank you.